Well, fish O's at least, and at last, a little bit of sunshine. Absolutely fantastic. Really been looking forward to this, I can tell you. And it quite possibly will kick things along a little bit better than they have been. Uh, the river obviously is a bit of a waste of time. I'm talking the Murrumbidgee River at the moment uh, and Old Man Creek because it's still way too high to fish. Um, too dangerous, too high, not worth the effort. Uh, but in saying all that, uh, we've got some places that are pretty close to town. I've mentioned it over the last couple of weeks, Lake Albert, still cracking, fishing really well. Very pleased with it at the moment. We're getting a lot of yellow belly out of it and a few decent sized redfin up to about 42, 43 centimetres. Now they're not in big numbers the reddies, the yellows are, but the reddies aren't. And the uh, yellow bellies seem to be up around that 42, 43 in the top end of the scale. A lot of 30s, 35s, 38s. So as you can see, it's good fishing out there. Worms off the bank certainly been the way to go, but try small yabbies. We're getting some good reports, starting to get some better quality fish on small yabbies. And anybody wanting to use little black soft plastics is doing reasonably well. Uh, I think you'll find though the lure fishing will kick in as soon as we get about a week or two of warm weather and anyone wanting to troll or walk the banks casting I reckon it would do really well. Small lures are definitely going to be the uh, flavour of the month for the first couple of weeks anyway. See what happens there. Blowering Dam, 100% full. She's hit uh, capacity at the moment and uh, the, it's about as high as it's going to get. Uh, well, Obviously, it's going to go over the spillway if it gets any higher. Uh, but we've got a few fish getting caught right up in the shallows. Polaroiding seems to be the way to go at the moment if you want to go and flick a few uh, soft plastics around. Little suspending lures will cover it as well. Uh, do the job nicely. The little Yakamito uh, walk the dog surface lures, absolutely perfect. We use them for trout, we use them for yellows. Got some tremendous colours in those and they'll do the job quite nicely. Little blades that will also work. But if you find a bit of structure that you can actually slow roll some soft plastics on, Lunker City's in the little uh, paddle tail, uh, the, what they call it a grubster, absolutely spot on. Put a bit of sack scent on it because you can't beat that stuff, I kid you not. Tentangra, Yucaboo and Jindabyne, all fishing really well. Off the bank with bait or trolling, doesn't seem to matter a great deal. The fly fishermen are having a good time up there as well. Uh, just walking around casting a few flies, especially late in the afternoon. Woolly buggers, uh, matukas, anything of that nature will cover it. And the old Mrs Simpson and Ham Hamill's Killer are having their day back again. So getting a few fish up there. Tentangra has been producing a lot of fish uh, and the odd reasonable size one. Got a couple of good reports from Dartmouth Dam. It's producing very nice numbers of fish at the moment, but not many of them are over a kilo. They're short, they're fat, good condition. Fair few rainbows, a few browns mixed in with them, so very good condition fish. So we're pretty pleased with that. And like I say, the Hume Weir, definitely worth fishing off the bank. So as you can see, we've got enough activity around to keep us excited. If we can get a week or two of this, everything starts to settle down, you are in for the best season you've ever seen. This is the Complete Angler's Fishing Report for this week. We'll catch you next week.